you know, around seventh or eighth grade, you get those career aptitude tests and you fill out a bunch of circles and they come back and tell you what you're supposed to be. So it said for me, meat packer or truck driver. And so therefore I knew I could choose my own <laughs> career because I wasn't going to be any of those. So my first role that I remember was Rumpelstiltskin and not the princess in Rumpelstiltskin, but Rumpelstiltskin in first grade. I remember being the only person who would do that because the guys weren't interested and the girls were too, already in first grade, too afraid to do something like that. I got kind of ruined by Rumpelstiltskin <laughs> and by going to American Shakespeare Center where I played so many men and they gave me the chance to play Richard III. And this was when I was just starting out, early 20s. And um, it became something that can happen. And so I left there and went to everywhere else where it doesn't happen often. And I'm going, what's, what, what's up with that? But I, the theater world is changing and more and more and more, you see women playing men or women playing male characters as women, or, you know, it's possible now. So I'm very excited because otherwise I'd have Queen Margaret to look forward to, maybe a Gertrude, love to do them all. But I'm so ready to go and to have to shut down because I'm a woman and there's no parts of Shakespeare for me. What a tragedy. So now I'm thinking, well, let's just keep going. Let's do them all. So many new playwrights are writing roles for women that have not existed in plays that were written before. And I want to play one of those parts. I want to get some of these amazing playwrights and these incredible new directors and work with them and create something for the first time. Because my career has been so strange. It's a combination of classical theater that's been done forever and new plays, world premieres. And I love that. So I want to keep that going. And um, I'm maybe my most favorite role hasn't been invented yet. But I'm going to keep my eye out for it. I liked the Partridge Family guys better than the Brady Bunch guys. My favorite drink, okay, Mistress Quickly is definitely into the drinks. In this play, not so much that we see. She's into money. I would say any drink that has architecture, an umbrella and some fruit is super fun for me. If I have a fun drink that is a little party in a glass. So many men I want to play. I want to play Cassius. I want to play Richard II very badly. I'd love to play Brutus, but I don't think I'm right for Brutus. I would have liked my costume from Two Gentlemen of Verona, my Lance costume with those big pants and the suspenders and the little hat and stuff. I think that would have been awesome, but they were saving it because we might do it again. And I couldn't fit in them now, so they should just give them to me. At my dressy station, I have a mirror that um, my grandmother had, and it's one of those mirrors sort of a compact mirror and you open it up. So there's a regular mirror here and a magnifying mirror there. And I remember seeing it on her dressing table growing up and thinking it was so pretty because it has like rose on it. And then she died and my mom got it. And I remember being, wow, oh, I love your thing. Can I look in the mirror? Did I Not to look at myself, I just liked it as an object. And then my mom died and I was going through her stuff and I saw it. And so I'm like, this is going in my dressing room. So I look in it and I see both of them as well as myself. I'm a big prankster. I enjoy pranks. Runs go a long time, and five show weekends, you gotta have some things to pep, pep you up. So I do not prank on stage, very rarely. I was in uh, Berkeley in California, Berkeley Rep, and I just, for some reason, poor, this poor actor, I just kept putting peeps in the toes of his shoes. So he'd do a quick change and then have to shove on his shoe and he'd hit a peep. And I was thinking it was hilarious until one day he's like, Kate, stop it. But right, sorry, sorry. So I'm a bit more responsible with my pranks, but no, I'm a, I'm a prankster. <laughs>